So good afternoon to all the students of class 10th D. Uh, we are going to start new chapter, which is the last chapter of your book, First Flight. After that, we have three to four more chapters in the other book. So fine, that's why we have to speed up and you have to, you know, join the class immediately when it starts. So you take, you know, eight minutes to nine minutes, you're wasting in joining the class, fine. So let's continue. So this chapter, the proposal, when the word I speak the word proposal, what does it mean? You might have heard the word, okay, proposing someone or uh, or asking someone for marriage or asking someone for someone for, to go out or find such sort of words come to your mind. Uh, but the proposal here is related to matrimonial proposals. So this word has varied meanings, different meanings. I propose you, you should do this. It is not always matrimonial purpose, fine. I propose to do this means you have pre-planned something to do this. You have suggested someone to do this. You have asked someone to do go out. Anything can be there, fine. So varied meanings are there, but in the context of this chapter, the proposal written by Anton Chekhov. A Russian writer, fine. That's why the name is like that, A-N-T-U-N, Anton Chekhov. And the, you can see the names also, you know, Russian names are like that only. So their pronunciation is different. Stephen Shubukov, Ivan Lomov, Natalia. Fine, so these are the Russian names. That's why they are different. So let me introduce these three characters of the story. Uh, firstly, we have Shubakov. I won't be using the word Stephen for, uh, I won't be speaking the full name. Okay, so Shubakov is fine for us. Shubakov is uh, one wealthy man, fine, middle-aged man. And uh, his daughter is Natalia, clear? 25 year old near about. So Natalia is the daughter of Shubakov. And then we have Ivan Lomov, he's 35 year old man and he is seeking a match for himself because he wants to get married obviously so lomo why will be using the word lomo only fine i when i want to use it clear so shubukov father natalia daughter lomo is that uh, man who's going to propose uh, for the marriage of to this girl natalia in this story okay is that clear to you all now, what is the theme of this uh, play? It is a play, you know, there will be characters. What is a play when there are characters, when they're interacting, when there are dialogues. So in this play, it's a very light comedy play. You can see I have written here, play, comedy, farce. These words are describing it. So it's a light comedy, fine. And farce here means, I'll tell you the meaning of farce as well. So what is the theme of this uh, play? Seeking wealthy families for matrimonial purposes. You know, this is very common in Russia as well, in, in today's time as well. And not in Russia, I see everywhere in the world, you know, whenever we find any, these days people are so, uh, you can say money-minded that when they find a match, they would like to propose the person who is wealthy and rich enough, you know? Uh, with whom your life will be settled economically. So this chapter is going to, you know, shed light on the society that how we people, you know, we want to find matches as per the wealth of the person. We do not see the mental match of the person. We even avoid the ailments the person is having, physical fitness the person is having or not. The, how the person looks, that doesn't matter to them just because of the money and land and property. If they are having, if they are so rich, they are like ready to get married. So this is happening in our society. You just open the newspaper, you will see in the advertisements as if they are asking for the commodity. Kitne features likhe hote Suitable match required for... Uh, features of the girls, fine, well educated, beautiful, fair, tall girl, Brahmin and uh, uh, Khatri, Aroda, whatever caste. And after that, what is mentioned? They, you know, uh, income in six figures, income in seven figures, they're just increasing the figures, the income, more income. Sometimes they are showcasing boys settled in Canada, income in eight figures and seven figures. 
So they are just highlighting their property over there. On car, on Koti. Please call us on this number or send your in. So this is what we are doing. We are living in the society where proposals are made by setting up the mind of the people that yes, I'm rich. Please come. Right. So in that way, people are having matches. Our society uh, is like that. That we see the wealth and property, and then we go for the match. This is not true. That's why, and it ends up with a lot of uh, divorces. Fine, no doubt money is important, but money is the, not the only thing which you have to see. There are a lot of other factors when you want to get married to a person. So this chapter is actually, uh, you can say it's a farce. When, how does it make, aapke CBS me question aya, they discuss proposal as farce. Farce is genre of English literature. Jaise aapke different genres hoti hai, tragedy, comedy, so comedy ka ek sub part hai farce, but when comedy is presented and along with the comedy, a satire is there on the society. Society ke upar ek hai, ki see, this is the truth. There will be, you know, when we will be reading this play, you will find what bogus, you know, uh, writer has written, Anton Chekhov has written this, this play. What is this? What sort of stupid things they are discussing and how they are behaving and you know sab kuch foolish lagta when foolishness is included in the chapter but the purpose of that foolishness purpose of that comedy is to present the bitter truth and reality to show the mirror to the society that is make it a farce is that clear to you all what i mean to say those who are uh, seriously listening you're going to relish this chapter but before we start, you need to understand why we are calling it farce. Clear? Light comedy hai, a lot of foolishness, stupid uh, comments and stupid uh, talks are going on. But the purpose is, theme is, a uh, writer wants to convey that one wealthy person looking for the other wealthy person. Ki hum bhi rich hai, we have to find the rich person only to get married. It's not true always. So Shubukov is that man who, want, who also wants to get married. Uh, her daughter into the rich family and daughter is also like that she's also looking forward for the wealthy match then Lomov he himself is rich farmer you know he have they have estates they have their own lands and both of them and they will be uh, you know in the beginning of the uh, play you will get to know Lomov is going to enter into the house of Shubukov and they are neighbors you know Shubukov and Lomov they are neighbors and they are rich neighbors. Both of them are rich enough to have good property and estates. And Lomov at the age of 35, he wants to marry this girl Natalia and he thinks, okay, this girl is not pretty, but this girl is okay and she can be a good housewife. She can manage a house in a nice way. So I should get married. By having such kind of thinking in his mind, he goes to propose her at her house only. And he also thought, okay, I will talking to her father Shubukov about this. And Shubukov doesn't have any hesitation in this even. He's ready to, you can say, uh, for this marriage. But before they could proceed about the proposal, before they could talk about this marriage, they fall into some arguments. Wo arguments kis cheez ke mein ho hai that, uh, that stupidity will lead to something else. Fine. Now, another thing also you'll get to know. So I'm going to share the screen with you all, Vita. I hope the introduction is clear to you all. No doubt to anyone. My dear, dear students of 10th D, I really appreciate when you join uh, the class. I see each and every child. So finally, the, you can say, student who never attend the class, Nandini and Pratham, they have also entered the class. Pratham uh, entered even in last period also, Pratham, fourth period, ninth ka hota, beta. So you were so excited to attend English class that you started joining in the last period only. Anybody wants to read or shall I continue? I'm asking your choice. Proposal by Anton Shekhov. Tanya wants to read. Okay, Tanya, I'll give you in between. So let me start first. Uh, the word proposal has several meanings. Can you guess what sort of proposal the play is about? A suggestion plan or scheme for doing something? 
एन ऑफर फॉर अ पॉसिबल प्लान और एक्शन द एक्ट ऑफ आस्किंग समर्ज हैंड इन मैरिज तो हमें यही नहीं समझ में आ रहा ये प्रपोजल किसका है is is this a proposal for marriage or is this a proposal for land uh, or uh, property or asal mein hidden proposal to wahi hai na real proposal is marriage okay real proposal is to get married but the hidden proposal is to get the property of the other person so this is what we people are uh, having at the back of our minds so the word का मीनिंग हमें क्लियर हो जाएगा बिफोर दैट बेटा उन्होंने ना एक बॉक्स दी है सो दिस बॉक्स इन विच दे हैव जस्ट गिवन काइंड ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट एक्चुअल चैप्टर स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम हेयर ओनली सो आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू जस्ट ऑफ दिस बॉक्स व्हाट इज रिटन हेयर इन दिस बॉक्स लेट मी रीड इट वेरी फास्ट सो दे हैव जस्ट डिस्कस द कस्टम्स ऑफ रशियन वेडिंग वर्सेज इंडियन वेडिंग की इंडियन वेडिंग में यू नो दैट यू नो uh the sister of that girl she steals uh shoes of the uh you can say groom and then she asks for money so these are the customs you know so in the russian wedding what they do uh preparations for a russian wedding is very simple you know planning only includes arranging for rings and brides and dress and cars and reception earlier <coughs> brides family you know used to pay for the reception but nowadays both families they pay they share expenses and changes have come over russian weddings and two days are there and they do not last for months and all they last as long as a week and you know and this occasion of russian weddings are uh, always people remember why they remember it because there is a procession of several cars when a russian person gets married there is a procession of several cars kon kon hota hai cars mein best friends of the groom bride meet before the wedding a few times they make posters they write speeches they organize contests right when the groom arrives to fetch the bride for the registration he has to fight to get her so customs banaye hue hai ek tarah se this is the you can say societal mirror you can see how they are just arranging bahut sare friends ikatthe hote hain before the marriage they organize contests and rushes usually live in apartments in tall buildings and the groom has to climb several stairs to reach his bride fir usko kehte hain that you will not use the elevator you will have to use the stairs to reach your bride but at each landing he must answer a question to be allowed to go up and at every you know this is very funny that uh, tall buildings hoti itne itne wale ki and when a person reaches to one uh, story he has to answer one question and then he will go to next otherwise usko wapas bhej dete hain the bride's friends ask difficult questions sometimes about bride sometimes just difficult riddles you know and the groom must answer with the help of his friends for example he may be shown a few photos of baby girls or usse puchte ho case mein se pehchano who's your would be uh, wife so this is interesting if he guesses wrong he must pay cash to move ahead so fine bhi lagta hai raste mein usko so a lot of things are there russian story so it seems interesting The newly married couple leaves the guests for a tour of the city sites. After two or three hours of the city tour, the couple arrives at the reception. See, the reception से आने से पहले घूमना होता है उनको. The couple sits at a specially arranged table with their family, friends, and invited guests. Reception starts with toasts to the couple. Toasting here means, beta, जैसे uh, you know, uh, when we put up our drinks in the glasses and we say cheers and all. A wedding toast is a custom where a close friend or relative of the groom says a few words to wish the couple. Is me, beta? Just wishes and blessings they say. You know, blessings and they say cheers and that. That is called toasting. So this is a custom of Russia. The groom is then asked to kiss the bride. After a few toasts, people start eating and drinking and generally have fun. So this is the foreign custom, right? After some time, bride gets stolen. She disappears. and when groom starts looking for her he is asked to pay a fee fir jaise india mein jute ko dhoondte hain wahan pe wife ko dhoondta hai husband usually it is his friends who steal the bride so then bride's friends are they they steal the bride's shoes wahan pe jaise india mein alag hote hain but russia mein bride ke shoes chori hote hain the groom must pay money for the shoe too the guests enjoy watching these tussles and continue party so these are the customs of you can say rituals of uh, russian weddings fine 
सो दे हैव जस्ट मेड अ बॉक्स फॉर यू पीपल कस्टम सिमिलर टू इंडियन वन इंडिया में ग्रूम शूज आर स्टोलर इन रशिया ब्राइड शूज आर स्टोलर फाइन इन दैट वे सो दिस इज जस्ट टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर द प्रपोजल आई होप यूर लाइक इन दिस चैप्टर द प्रपोजल Yes, Tanya, raise your hand, beta. You wanted to read this. Yes, you can start reading. The proposal, originally titled "A Marriage Proposal," is a one-act play, a farce by the Russian short story writer and a dramatist Anton Chekhov. It was written in eighteen eighty-eight to eighteen eighty-nine. The play is about the tendency of wealthy families to seek ties with the other wealthy families to increase their estates by encouraging marriages that make good economic sense. So now you have you might have seen in our uh, uh, Indian big fat Indian weddings also. These days we see actors, actresses. You know, a baris ki koi wedding hoti hai, so it's not like a wedding. It's like a saga of a whole. the functions and you know all the celebrities and a lot of stuff and lot of so one wealthy family seeking it is a tendency ki we are rich we have to find the other rich family they will never you know find the match which is not equivalent to them we say better hi hona chahiye and the reason is they want to you know gather the estates and land so this is the real proposal the proposal is not the bride or they are not choosing the person for what or sh- for what she is for who she is to us person ki qualities to dekho pehle what sort of person that is fine so they are just looking forward for the property and wealth and then they choose so in this play it's a farce so in this we will read that how people of wealthy families they find another wealthy family so that they can encourage to improve our economic status in the society so ivan lomov yahan se padhiye abhi ivan lomov ivan lomov a long time wealthy neighbor of stefan shukubov also wealthy comes to seek the hand of shukubov's 25 year old daughter natalia all three are quarrelsome people and and they are quarrel over petty issues the proposal is in danger of being forgotten amidst all this quarreling but economic good sense ensures that the proposal is made so after all after all also all the quarreling perhaps continues you can mute yourself anya thank you uh, see they are saying that lomov ivan lomov this 35 year old young man he wants to get married to 25 year the sal choti hai usse 25 year old uh, girl natalia shubukov's uh, daughter both are rich both families and but all three of them father his daughter and this man who wants to get married to natalia no more all are very quarrelsome in nature bahut hi jagadalu kism ke log hai and they quarrel on petty issues stupid things and among amongst this amid is this stupidity they forget that ki okay they have uh, you know they are going to talk about the proposal of the marriage but economic good sense ensures that the proposal is made economic good sense what is economic good sense here to be rich economically in the society so quarreling will continue aapas mein lad rahe hain you know we saw the we see the pictures of people rich people so wow what a life they have you know uh, lamborghini and uh, bosch and such kind of brands they are using and you know, visiting to the holiday destinations and what sort of uh, heavenly marriages but at the you know at the reality is are they happy reality you ask a question are they really happy are they satisfied is there any mental match between the couple i'm not saying all the marriages are like they're not mentally uh, they are together but yes there are chances when you look forward to such matches when okay rich person marrying the rich it doesn't mean that always they will be very you know comfortable and uh, like that only so marriages should be made at the comfort level when you are having same bent of mind it's not always same but yes you understand each other when there is respect in the relation when one is 
uh, quarreling, the other one is listening at least at that time. If both will quarrel, the marriage will fail. So at the time of getting married, one should have, you know, the patience. Uh, it's not about girls and boys. Both should have their patience. No doubt money matters, but you should be, you know, responsible enough to earn. You should have good earning. It doesn't mean you should be always a millionaire or billionaire to get married. Maybe you can get married to a billionaire, but you're not happy at the end of the day. What will be the fun of getting married to a rich person then? Fine. So we should not have that sort of thinking. This uh, play is going to teach us. So how they, you know, even after having very bad nature, some nature, they keep on fighting. And but they end up with economic good sense here on Mickey Hop. When one should get married, we should see the wealth characters. Stephen Stepnovich Shubukov. Tabi Menevkabolana Shubukov is better for us. But you should know because in exam, if it comes, you will say, Oh my god, ye kya likha hai? so he's a land owner. Stephen Shubukov is a land owner. Fine. Natalia Stefana, his daughter, 25 years old. Shubukov's daughter. Ivan Lomov. Yuske father ka name hoga na? Maybe Vasilevich. Ivan Lomov is a neighbor of Shubukov, a large and hearty but very suspicious landowner. Shakki. Seen is a drawing room in Shubukov's house. Lomov enters wearing a dress jacket and white gloves. Shubukov rises to meet him. So Lomov has entered house of Shubukov and both are greeting each other at the address and at the, you see the drawing room. But we have just done the introduction today only, introduction of this proposal because this chapter is quite lengthy enough. And uh, you have to, I guess, have patience for four to five days it will take to complete on the whole week, I guess, this whole week till Saturday, we will be able to finish this off. But the students, 30 students who have joined today, uh, I'm not going to take it further because only two, three minutes are left. Okay, so you have to join on daily basis if you want to understand. So I'm going to ask you some questions now. Okay, uh, Mehak, you tell me, what is the theme of this chapter? When I ask question, they start running away. What is the theme of this chapter? It's not a difficult question. Who wants to answer this? Yes, Mehak, please speak. And the theme of the chapter is that we should not go out of the well. We should. Um, the voice is not that. Uh, uh, there is some, uh, I guess, some network issues are there. Okay, you can mute yourself, Mehak, no problem. Very, you can say, feeble voice is coming. Very. Yes, so Tanya is writing to us, marrying wealthy family may not be a good decision, though the person may not economically, may get economic stability, but not yes. So this is correct, Tanya, on your part, very good. Yes, Jia Dhawan. When I ask you, are you there? You say, okay, yes, yes, then raise hand and all. Okay, Princey, Chal. You have to tell me two points related to theme of this chapter. Are you there, Princey? I'm not going to mark them present. Those who are not responding, make sure. Marrying rich families doesn't matter in the end. So Charles says that Bhanu Pratap, marriage should not be related with economic status, but with personality and bond between relations. Yes, yes, well done, Bhanu. So students who are writing, I, you are comfortable in writing is such a big answer. And when I... Uh, uh, 
ask you to unmute and nobody's ready to you know unmute them so i don't know why you are hesitant of uh, unmuting and speaking then there, there will be the hesitation nandini and pratham raise your hands are you listening to me pratham samajh mein aa gaya story yes speak raising hand but you're not even speaking i have unmuted you these are the futile efforts of uh, you know there are four, five to seven students only those who give answers or eight or 10 maybe fine but uh, most of you just become passive listener so that's why i doubt whether you're listening or not but when i ask you then you immediately start responding that yes ma'am we are listening okay so uh, we will continue this chapter uh, as per the schedule of your period tomorrow or the next day let's see whatever will be the you can say changes uh, will inform you accordingly but please students send your notebooks and posters as well if you want your assessment to be marked fine we have completed the last chapter and till that chapter you have to send each and everything to me okay and then uh, second time uh, next time after proposal uh, final checking will be done also of this notebook please make sure you complete it side by side have a nice day